Good afternoon all. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is measure the capacitance of this supercapacitor and it says it's uh, 100 farads. I want to measure it using a constant current DC load. So what I'm going to do is apply probably one amp uh, using this constant current load, drain the capacitor so that its voltage falls. Now under a constant uh, DC load, a constant current load, the uh, voltage on the capacitor should fall completely linearly. It should be a straight line decline in voltage. And then I'm going to use some equations to try and uh, work out the capacitance of this capacitor using uh, also a stopwatch. So uh, I've just printed this out from Wikipedia and this is the article on the Coulomb. Now you've got a couple of equations here and it makes it quite uh, simple to understand. One coulomb is one amp times one second, so coulombs are amp seconds. And also one coulomb is one farad times one volt, so coulombs are farad volts. So that must mean then that uh, amp seconds is equal to farad volts. So what I'm planning to do is uh, discharge this capacitor into a constant current load of one amp, count the number of seconds for it to drop in voltage from a starting voltage to a finish voltage. So I'm going to start at 2.5 volts because it's a little below the maximum that I can charge this to, 2.7. Start at 2.5 and drop to uh, 1 volt. So it'll be a total voltage change of 1.5 volts. And uh, if I use these equations, uh, farad volts equals amp seconds, then the number of seconds and that 1.5 volt drop should give me farads, hopefully. So uh, given these two equations, both of these equals one coulomb. So I've uh, modified this to say that farad volts is the same as amp seconds, and therefore farads is amp seconds over volts. Now I'm going to uh, do this at one amp, so that becomes one, so it's just seconds over volts. The voltage change is going to be 1.5 volts. So actually, to work out farads, it's simply the number of seconds I count this thing as it uh, drops from 2.5 volts down to 1 volt, divided by 1.5, which is the voltage change. So the difficulty I'm having is getting this thing up to 2.7 volts and monitoring the voltage. I've set my power supply here to 3.2 volts, and that's because I've got some um, voltage drop in these wires. I'm having to do it at a fair old current. 1.5 amps because it's taking quite a while to charge this. Uh, so I set this for 3.2 volts. Uh, the only way I can measure the actual voltage on this capacitor is to turn this electronic DC load on. It doesn't show you the voltage unless it's actually running. So you can see there that it's about 2 volts at the moment, but it's drawing 200 milliamps. So that's going to fall. Uh, is that falling? Yes, it should be falling. So the voltage on that capacitor is falling because I'm putting it into a 200 milliamp constant current load. Now let's switch on this, which is putting 1.4 amps uh, into here. So I've got 1.2 amps going in and 0.2 amps coming out. So there's a net positive current flowing into the capacitor. Its voltage is climbing up. When that gets to 2.7 volts, I'll switch this off so it's no longer drawing 200 milliamps. I'll also switch this off so it's no longer charging that capacitor because I don't want to take it too far over 2.7 volts. So we're at 2.5, not long to go before this is fully charged. And then I can run my test and I'm going to use this. It's a stopwatch I found. It's quite a nice one actually. Seconda USSR. I wonder if it's valuable. So let's just take this up to uh, 2.7 volts and then I can start my test. Right, this has slowed right now, down now because I've only got um, a about 260 milliamp differential between the current going into the capacitor and the current that's coming out. That has now reached 2.7 volts. So let's turn off the load, also turn off the source. Now I'm going to set this to 1 amp. So that's 1 amp. I'm going to switch this on and the minute it or the instant it hits 2.5 volts I'll start my stopwatch and when it hits 1 volt I'll stop it. So let's turn that on. 
that's dropping to 2.5. Start the stopwatch. Now you could probably work backwards. I don't know whether I can do this in my head, but uh, 100 farads, I could get the uh, equation. 100 farads um, over 1.5 volts times 1.5 volts would give me 150 amp seconds, wouldn't it? So I'm looking for about 150 amp seconds, I think, if I'm going to take this at 1 amp from 2.5 volts down to 1 volt. 150 amp seconds, what's that? Then that's... Uh, just over two minutes. Okay, so we're just coming up to one minute. I'm doing this at one amp because it makes the uh, maths a lot easier, but I might repeat it at a slightly lower current just in case I'm getting odd effects. Uh, that's assuming my 150 seconds is assuming that uh, this is actually a 100 farad capacitor. It probably isn't, it's probably a lot less. Right, we're coming up to 80 seconds now, 1 minute 20, I'm down to 1.10 ish. It's not going to go much further, is it? And this will start beeping at 1 volt. Right, 1 volt. So I'm going to stop it now. That's beeping. Now I can let this carry on discharging, but there's not much point because I want to charge it up again in a moment. So I'm going to shut that off. It's also beeping. So what are we saying about, uh, well, let's round it down to 90 seconds. So we've got 90 seconds at one amp. That's 90 amp seconds. So one amp, 90 seconds is 90 amp seconds divided by the change in voltage, which was from 2.5 volts down to one volt. So divided by 1.5 volts of drop is only 60 farads. That's a bit disappointing for that. 100 farad capacitor. Um, right, well, let's do it again, and I'm going to do it at half the current. So I'm going to do it at um, 0.5 amps. Let me switch the, well, I'll switch that on so I can monitor the voltage, and I'll switch this on to charge this capacitor back up. That's going at 1.5 amps. It is funny because it does seem to go slower at the low voltage end then at the high voltage end, it really shouldn't at a constant current. Uh, this is constant current, the yellow light's on, CC, constant current, 1.5 amps, going in. Oh, I've got one amp coming out, <laughs> that's a bit severe. Okay, let's take that down to 200 milliamps, going actually into the DC load. Yeah, that's going up a bit quicker. So there's a net current of 1.3 amps flowing into the capacitor. So I'm just going to charge that back up to... 2.7 volts and then I'm going to run the experiment again but at half an amp instead of one amp just to see if it makes any difference to the 60 farads that that capacitor appears to be. So this capacitor is up to 2.2 volts now. Incidentally I've had to set this to 3.2 volts to counteract losses in these wires, the voltage drop in these cables, the voltage drop across this Schottky diode. Um, I set that a bit lower, but it just wasn't pumping enough current to do this quickly enough. It was taking forever, so it's still pushing uh, 0.8 amps, 800 milliamps. This is up to 2.5 volts. I'll take it up to 2.7 because that gives me time to start the stopwatch. I will need to reset this. Okay, that's reset. Uh, we'll just wait till that gets up back up to 2.7, then I'm going to run the whole thing again at 0.5 amps. Okay, so this is approaching 2.7 volts now. Let's turn off that 200 milliamps of load, turn off the charge source, set this to 500 milliamps of uh, electronic DC load, and then start it. And when I see 2.5 volts, I'll start the stopwatch. 2.6, 2.55, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 2.73, 2.74, 2.75, 2.76, 2.77, 2.78, 2.79, 2.80, 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.88, 2.89, 2.90, 2.91, 2.92, 2.93, 2.94, 2.95, 2.96, 2.97, 2.98, 2.99, 2.100, 2.101, 2.102, 2.103, 2.104, 2.105, 2.106, 2.107, 2.108, 2.109, 2.110, 2.111, 2.112, 2.113, 2.114, 2.115, 2.116, 2.117, 2.118, 2.119, 2.120, 2.121, 2.122, 2.123, 2.124, 2.125, 2.126, 2.127, 2.128, 2.129, 2.130, 2.131, 2.132, 2.133, 2.134, 2.135, 2.136, 2.137, 2.138, 2.139, 2.140, 2.151, 2.152, 2.153, 2.154, 2.155, 2.156, 2.157, 2.158, 2.159, 2.160, 2.170, 2.171, 2.172, 2.173, 2.174, 2.175, 2.176, 2.177, 2.178, 2.179, 2.180, 2.191, 2.192, 2.193, 2.194, 2.195, 2.196, 2.197, 2.198, 2.199, 2.200, 2.201, 2.202, 2.203, 2.204, 2.205, 2.206, 2.207, 2.208, 2.209, 2.210, 2.211, 2.212, 2.213, 2.214, 2.215, 2.216, 2.217, 2.218, 2.219, 2.220, 2.221, 2.222, 2.223, 2.224, 2.225, 2.226, 2.227, 2.228, 2.229, 2.230, 2.231, 2.232, 2.233, 2.234, 2.235, 2.236, 2.237, 2.238, 2.239, 2.240, 2.241, 2.242, 2.243, 2.244, 2.245, 2.246, 2.247, 2.248, 2.249, 2.250, 2.251, 2.252, 2.253, 2.254, 2.255, 2.256, 2.257, 2.258, 2.259, 2.260, 2.270, 2.271, 2.272, 
So I just thought this might be um, a better way to do it to get a more accurate measurement in terms of time. So again, I'm waiting. This is not doing anything. This is switched off. I'm waiting for that capacitor uh, to discharge down to one volt into that half amp DC load. This is going to take a while. So I'll probably stop rambling and do one of those little speed up things. Right, okay, we're approaching one volt and we're approaching three minutes. There's one volt, that should start beeping now. And near as damn it, three minutes. Now, of course, three minutes divided by two or halved, because we're at half an amp, and this is amp seconds, this is amps multiplied by seconds, um, is 90 seconds again. So, in fact, it's the same number as we got when we discharged the capacitor at one amp, we're still getting 90 amp seconds, 90 coulombs in other words, when I discharge it at half an amp. And you'd expect that really. And so it's the same calculation, uh, 90 amp seconds divided by 1.5, because that's the total uh, voltage change from 2.5 volts down to one volt, 60 farads again. So this 100 farad capacitor is a bit dis disappointing um, measured on this setup, I don't know how accurate all this is, but uh, yeah, 60 farad capacitor, not brilliant, cheerio.